So, so this is how the model arrives. Um, the muscle and the skin and the toolkit will all be separate. The first thing you have to do is to put the artery into the muscle. This is the muscle. Um, you take the artery and it needs filling. Uh, the way to fill it is to take two needles. Um, one of them you insert into the top end of the artery. And this one will release the air because you need it as full as possible. So I've got, here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> Got a syringe uh, filled with fake blood. And you take the second needle and screw it onto the syringe that comes supplied. And you fill this artery with, with blood. You then lubricate the muscle as it makes it easier to get the artery in. You look for the three holes on the surface, the back surface, so it's the part that comes up. It has three holes on the surface. You put some lubricant into the bigger, one of the bigger holes, squeeze it out, and then make sure that you massage it through with your finger so, so that you can see the lubricant coming through the other holes. Then you take the artery and you put, you bend it over and you push it through, looking to um, follow the two channels underneath. It's going down. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> and then you push, you bend the artery into and push it into the bigger of the three holes, feeling for the chambers underneath. Which is that one, sorry. The wrong one. And it should that should end up as a sort of triangle shape. It follows here. So the end one end comes out here and the other end you can feel here. And once that artery is in place you can then insert it into the model. In, or in order to do that, you have to remove the, the, the upper layer of skin, which just pulls off, and then take off the bones. This, this, the clavicle comes off first. You pull, pull it away from the top section here, and add <laughs> the face, not quite with so much force. And this one lifts, lifts off. The muscle attaches um, on three um, spigots. And you can see these, these holes here. Um, the, the main hole connects, connects down here. And you push it as far up onto that spigot as is humanly possible. Some people like to use lubricant on that, but sometimes I think it slides, slides it off. The second hole you put onto this spigot, and again push it as far up as is possible. The third spigot you push on the base down here, and again making sure the gel is as far up as possible. Once that's in place, you then lift the flap of the muscle and put part of the bone back in place until it clicks down. You then take the clavicle and insert it, part of it onto that little hole at the side here and the other section clicks into place on the top. Once that is in place you then need the injection pad. The injection pad which bits over the top. It's good to, to make sure this, this little pulse balloon is, is slightly um, to one line. It can sometimes kink to one side, so if you just hold it in place like that and place the um, 
the injection pad over the, over the top of that so that it fits in that groove um, surrounding the muscle. Then lift, uh, sorry, then we fill the base unit with um, the venous blood, which comes in your filling kit simulated venous blood, which is slightly darker than the uh, blood that we filled the artery with, which was um, the simulated arterial blood. Um, for the purposes of, of this demonstration, I'm not going to fill, fill the unit. I'll tell you how to do it. It's literally, you put the funnel in place, you would fill with the jug and, and until it was, the reservoir was, was full with, with, with the fake blood. You would then put the lid, oh no, sorry, you would then palpate under here to make sure that there were no bubbles in the pipework underneath the model and you would see bubbles coming up in the reservoir here. You would then put the stopper in place and that makes sure that the unit is, is, is sealed. You would then put the overskin on top of the injection pad making sure it, it fits with the ridges to the side and just pull it into place and the model is then ready to be used. You can test that the pulse is in the right place by pumping it, by feeling obviously for the for the Adam's apple and the Okay. You you feel for the groove between between these these two parts on this soft tissue part and put your fingers there and with the pulse um, balloon just pump and you can feel the the heartbeat you can feel the, the clavicle under the skin and the injection needles would be going into this part here as long, along with any, any of your ultrasound equipment, it will all focus on this injection pad here. And that's it. And then when, once the procedure had been finished, um, you take it all apart in the same, in the reverse order. You remove the skin, you remove the injection pad, you would take the stop around, you would take the whole base unit to a sink and empty the material, the um, excess blood uh, from, from the base unit. You would then remove the clavicle by pulling from the side and the, and the um, upper part, releasing it from, from the other bones. You remove the rib part here and then last of all you would remove the muscle. Um, this is the part where you would get the leakage if you had left the blood in the main system. So you do want to make sure that, that, that this reservoir is empty, completely empty, before you start removing it from here, otherwise it floods, because this reservoir pours directly into these three, three holes. It, it goes in a sort of triangular shape underneath. So you would then pull them off one at a time, very gently. making sure you don't tear it anywhere and then put that in a storage box safely because anything leaning on this will um, will damage it um, and that's it they, you can then put the thing together again just for storage and um, until you're ready to use the, the um, model again